Hi, I'm Raza Malieri, professional wedding and portrait photographer, cinematographer, and educator based in Seattle. Today, I'm excited to bring you a new Autorama TV episode discussing my hands-on impressions of the continuous strobe hybrid LED light by Stella Pro called Reflex. Stella Pro is based in Northern California, and their mission is to make beautiful lighting easy and fun. I've had an opportunity to use Reflex on various shoots over the past couple of months and I've really been enjoying my time with it. I like how compact it is and that I can easily take it with me in my usually overpacked backpack. Let's take a look at some of the sample images that I've created with Reflex using the included USB-C battery grip, the compact medium optic, and the Flashpoint Glow 1x3 foot strip box. These images were shot while chasing my toddler for family photos and during a sunset portrait shoot at Seattle's Discovery Park Lighthouse. Having used Reflex in a wide variety of scenarios, I've had some time to consider who it may be a good fit for. In my opinion, Reflex can be beneficial to a wide range of creators, for creators who are beginning to learn off-camera lighting, to natural light shooters looking to add dimension and mood to their work. It also excels at being a compact and versatile tool for professional hybrid creators that are shooting both videos and stills like me. Being a hybrid shooter who usually works on a mix of photo and video projects, I really enjoy using a light as versatile as Reflex. It adapts to my needs as a hybrid shooter because I can use it as a continuous light when I'm shooting videos and also as a flash when I'm capturing photos. As creators, we all know that the most useful light is always the one at hand. And it's nice to see that Stella Pro has taken that into consideration with the overall design and form factor of Reflex. It's easy to use and quick to deploy. It has compact modifiers. And it's built with a USB-C power platform that's versatile and modular. During my shoots and travels with Reflex over the past month, its form factor has been a big highlight for me. Reflex is about the same size as one of my prime lenses, which makes it easy to fit my camera bag wherever I go. It's compact, lightweight, and offers a wide range of convenient light shaping tools that are easy to pack and travel with. It also features a simple click-in interface for modifiers, which supports third-party modifiers from Chimera, Profoto, and Bowens. I really enjoyed traveling with the modular design of Reflex, because I could break it down into compact components, which made it easy for me to pack and use in a cramped studio, while suspended overhead on a C stand, and when mounted on a light stand during a fitness shoot at sunrise. The controls are also super simple. It has a simple dial on the back, which activates the various menu options and allows for manual power adjustments in continuous or digital burst mode. The rear OLED display is bright and easy to read, it can be rotated 360 degrees for easy viewing when mounted in any number of orientations. Wireless control for digital burst strobe mode is available for Flashpoint R2 triggers, Godox triggers, and Ellen Chrome remotes and triggers. Reflex firmware updates are available via Bluetooth using the companion Stella Pro iOS application. Now, let's go over the USB-C battery grip and some additional power options for Reflex. When shooting handheld with the included USB-C battery grip, I found Reflex to be comfortable and ergonomic. The battery grip is easy to detach and doubles as the power supply for Reflex, which can fire up to 10,000 bursts at full power for longer shoots. The battery grip provides up to 6,000 lumens of constant light and can double that to 12,000 lumens when being used as a flash in digital burst mode. The cool part is that you can increase the power output and runtime of Reflex even more by using a 100 watt external battery bank of your choice. Tether Tools offers a nice 100 watt 26,800 milliamp hour USB-C power bank, which you can pick up on autorama.com. Now, let's look at how I put Reflex to the test. I recently took a trip to Los Angeles to test the power and versatility of Reflex even further by using it for some studio portrait work for a fitness shoot at sunrise, for a pretty cool shoot inside of a rain booth. Yes, literally inside of the rain booth itself. Reflex isn't as powerful as a traditional strobe, so I really wanted to stress test the light in situations where I knew it would excel. I wanted to see how it would perform in the studio and proceeded to put it through a test 
a three-point lighting setup using a strip box, a beauty dish, and a hard hair light. Man, was I pleasantly surprised when I cranked my A1 all the way up to 20 FPS while in the studio and Reflex had no issues keeping up. I was shooting relatively complicated three-point lighting, digital burst using Flashpoint R2 trigger, and it couldn't have worked any better to be honest. I was pretty impressed when I noticed the buffer on my A1 slowing down all while the reflex kept going without a hitch. Stella Pro has been able to engineer the light to fire at 20 FPS in digital burst mode with no recycle time and no overheating for up to 10,000 consecutive bursts on a single charge of its included USB-C battery handle. That gets an A plus from me for performance in a controlled studio environment. In addition to being a super fast flash, its hybrid design is an added advantage in the studio in my opinion. Reflex makes it super easy to get a good idea of what your light shaping is looking like and then fire off bursts when you're ready. It acts as a powerful and convenient modeling light when in continuous mode, but it gets even more useful since it can also respond to strobe commands from the trigger at the same time. Now that's a pretty handy feature for a studio work if you ask me. The rain booth shoot was another aha moment for me. I was pretty amazed to see Reflex firing off rapid burst while under a full downpour. What's even more impressive is that it was running on a 3 meter USB cable and a 100 watt USB-C power bank without any issues at all. That's something that's clearly unique to Reflex as I don't know of any other flash or continuous light that can perform like that while getting drenched. It opens up new possibilities for creative lighting in the rain when you don't always have control of the weather. I've personally been caught at weddings where the rain came down hard and the couple wanted to live it up, and I could see Reflex being the perfect light for those situations. So, what are my final thoughts about Reflex? In my opinion, hybrid lights like the Reflex are capable of revolutionizing our creative lighting options. They're the ideal tools for our increasingly hybrid, photo and video driven media landscape. Stella Pro Reflex ushers in a new era for hybrid lighting. It offers the ease of use and convenience of a continuous light while being able to seamlessly convert into a super fast waterproof flash. Hybrid creators who are looking for a do-it-all light that is versatile and easy to use would greatly benefit from Stella Pro Reflex. Thank you for watching this episode of Autorama TV. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated on all of the latest gear and education from Autorama. To follow more of my work, you can follow me at rmalieri. Thank you for watching and we'll see you on the next video.